Welcome to the 2014 MJBHA Preschool Graduation. I'm just going to speak for a couple of minutes. I know you're anxious to see the children. It's been a really, really wonderful school year. I can't, I'm already, okay, usually I wait till the end. None of us can believe it's really already ending. The children are so remarkable. We're amazed by, remarkable. We're, we're amazed by them every single day. You know, as educators, we've learned how important it is for us to just stop and observe the children. Um, I just wanted to tell you about a really intriguing observation that happened just this week. As you know, it was Spirit Week, and on Tuesday we had Water Play Day. So, you know, the twos are learning how to pour, and they're pouring back and forth. By the time you get to the pre-K level, the kids on their own decide they have to move the water from one pool into the other pool. Okay, first they think they can just move the pool, obviously it's too heavy. So then starts a discussion, how are we getting the water from the one pool to the other pool? They start using all the buckets and bottles and everything and they get to the point where they can move the pool. They got most of the water to the other pool. They didn't care. The point was the process. I want you to think about this for just a minute. Think about all the developmental tasks they had to have acquired in their very short lives to be able to accomplish this. It's just mind-boggling. Um, sorry, I'm going to me. They had to have enough cognition, first of all, to think of moving the water in the first place and to ask questions and to find solutions. They had to have the motor capability to complete the task. They had to work together to move the water. Working together requires the ability to understand another's perspective. It requires cooperation, organization, and assignment of roles. The children had to be imaginative, creative, and confident. It's just mind-boggling. They're four and five years old. Think about how quickly your children have developed all these abilities. It says in Pirkei Avot that one who studies Torah as a child can be likened to fresh, clean paper. We see this all the time. Children's minds soak up knowledge just like the paper takes the ink. But something else was needed for this activity to take place. The Morot had to allow it to happen. They had to just step back and watch and listen. And we're learning more and more how important it is for children to make these discoveries on their own. I greatly appreciate their willingness to do that. It's not easy. We hope the children will always be curious and will ask questions and explore and problem solve to, to, excuse me, to facilitate their own learning.
down just in the interest of time, uh, but this is really all uh, their words. A is for apple, alphabet, and marina.
on, on when we could on Rosh Chodesh, Rabbi Uri has come to join us in this room for a sing-along. Uh, and so he's going to um, show us a piece of what he's been doing with the kids. So this is a selected song by the children, their favorite song this year. And we're going to make the, uh, all the families work a little bit to sing with us. But first, you guys, are you ready? Are you really ready? Okay, let's do it all together first, and then we'll split up. Ready? is about saying Hodu Lashem, thank you to Hashem for a wonderful year. But we also want to say thank you to all of our parents and grandparents and teachers and friends. So we thought you could join us in the song. So we're going to do the first part and you are going to do the second part. Okay? So first we'll try it all together. You ready? Let's do it together. One, two, three. Hi. This time we're going to stand up for our parts. If you feel like you've already done your morning yoga workout, you can just raise your hands. But here we go. Are we ready? You want to stand up for your parts? Ready? One, two, three, go!
Jones. Thank you. 
put his back first. You'll put his back first. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at Aviva Parnes. Yeah. <laughs> Neely Unger. I'd like to thank all of our teachers and friends who have come. And um, I'm sorry, the phone door. So, um, without much further ado, Marisar, can you come back up? <laughs> thank you so much. Sorry, I'm just open. Can I help you? Um, Maura Mickey and Maura. Ilana. Maricera and Maria. Thank Mora Rebecca for running.